My friends, we are witnessing before our own eyes testimony after testimony, first-hand accounts, behind-the-scenes reports. January 6, 2021, one of the greatest attacks on modern democracy occurred with a violent disruption of the 2020 presidential election certification at the U.S. Capitol. Donald Trump supporters broke through Capitol Police lines, stormed the building, endangered government leaders, called for the hanging of the vice president, and threatened the peaceful transfer of power in America. They were inspired after being fed the populist lie that the election was fraudulent and that Trump won in a landslide, despite there being no factual evidence that this took place. This Shabbat's biblical portion, Parashat Korach, the main character, Korach, presents himself as the people's champion. The Korach Rebellion was a populist movement. Korach, the demagogue, twists the truth and distorts the facts in order to achieve power. He gathers 250 well-positioned leaders of the Jewish people to challenge the leadership of Moses and Aaron, accusing the brothers of political corruption and greed. He attacks Moses. Why do you exalt yourself above everyone else? All of the people he contends should equally serve God without special representation by an elite class. My friends, populist leaders are typically confrontational rather than collaborative, exclusive rather than inclusive. Populism unites a diversity of people into a mob mentality by identifying and attacking the enemy. A demagogue is the leader of that mob whipping up the passions of the crowd. And sadly, even in America, we are vulnerable to the emergence of demagogues and populists. As we now learn the facts, January 6, 2021, can be attributed to the appeal of populism stemming from disinformation spread by a cynical, enraged, volatile politician who put self-interest ahead of democracy. Shabbat Shalom.